to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK and to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers, I think we've gone over that now, I'm going to cut my hair on YouTube for you to see. And I say when I'm going to cut my hair, I mean this guy's going to cut my hair. So, well I don't, I've always had really long hair but I like the older I get, I don't really like it. It feels really heavy because it's really, really thick. And obviously I can't go to the hairdressers at the moment. And even if they were open, I probably wouldn't go just because I don't want to be around people. Ew, coronavirus germs. So I'm getting Phil's cut my hair. He's cut my hair once before and it ended up going, maybe twice before actually, and it ended up going a lot shorter than I'd asked for. And I was a bit upset the first time he did it. Um, I think the second time went a bit better, didn't it? But yeah. Slightly. Slightly. So I'm a little bit anxious. I've said to him, no, no shorter than my chin. So I'm hoping it goes well and uh, that, yeah, that I'm not crying at the end of this video. So, and I'll explain now. I do have a broken arm before you see my arm at any point and go, oh, why she got a broken arm? I fell off my horse and I have broken my radius, which is just here. And I've also got some nerve damage in my elbow. So if you see me wince at any point, it's not because he's like chopped my ear off, it's because my arm hurts. So without further ado, let's start. trusted your partner to cut your hair since lockdown. I know that there's a few people in my uh, real life that have uh, trusted their partners to cut their hair but um, I'm not sure. And, and one of my friends shaved her roommate's head like, with, with consent <laughs> not just randomly in the middle of the night. A little bit, but it's you know becoming a, almost a haircut week, isn't it? Because uh, we we cut Char Charles had his haircut a few days ago. And if you've seen from any of the previous videos, he's had really long hair for a really long time. And uh, he decided he wanted to, be able to spike it up like Sonic the Hedgehog. But then once uh, we actually cut his hair and had gel put in it, he realised he didn't like gel. So at the moment he has non-spiky hair, flat hair while we work out uh, what textures he's okay with. So I don't know whether we'll try wax or something. But I feel like that'll be too sticky. I'm not sure there is, unless we could find a really light gel, like a spray gel. I'm not sure I said hairspray, but... Yeah, I think, but hairspray can be a bit light. Right, yeah. help Albert with the thing he needs help with because because we're a bit busy. Should I find out when you get up there? No he knows. Because you can't hear what's going on friends. Um, Albert has gone to the toilet and needs assistance in the bottom wiping department and we are very lucky that we have Charles who is um, on the rare occasions that Phil or I are not able to go and sort out our three-year-old's toileting needs, um, like this one for example, um, Charles very gratefully, very gratefully, very happily goes and um, wipes bottoms. He did like to change his nappies as well when he was young, when uh, um, Albert was still in them. He's always been very hands-on, big brother. Um, obviously we don't utilise that very often because I don't really feel it's fair that we ask an eight-year-old to wipe a three-year-old's bum, but um, on occasions when uh, when we need assistance, Charles jumps to the chance to help. Bessie will go and help as well, but she won't actually do it. She'll just talk him through it, won't she? Yeah. She's a bit squeamish. <laughs> Which, to be fair, isn't always a bad thing. It's, no. It's getting no, the yeah, it's not, not bad at all. But Bessie's... It's, I feel like it's a little hypocritical of Bessie, <coughs> who has only just started doing it in the last year. So. You want to 
wash your hands, Charles. That's always a good sign when he goes silent. <laughs> you can see the difference between this side and this side. Is that good? We're done? No, we're not done, you lunatic. Well, what if I do that? <laughs> can we do done then? <laughs> no! <laughs> this, anything you've done to my hair is never as bad as the first time I helped my sister um, do her hair. Now, if, you, if you're subscribed to the channel and you have come back, you're coming back from watching before, then you will have seen my video with my sister. We are both absolutely bonkers. Um, but this is a fun story that I'm sure she'll remember as well, mainly because it's probably ingrained into her mind, even with never the fibromyalgia. Like, <laughs> yeah, never ever. So, it was when we were both living at home, I would have probably been <laughs> scared me death and whip my hair back. Um, I would have probably been 15, 16, maybe, sort of before I went to university. Um, I may have been a bit older, Stacey might be able to correct me. But Stacey wanted to highlight her hair. Now Stacey has like, naturally has, she, on her lots of videos she has red hair, but she's kind of got a mousy brown, strawberry blonde kind of hair, really. Um, and she wanted some blonde, she wanted me to bleach, help her bleach highlights into her hair, okay. So I had never ever dyed my own hair at this point, and was like, okay tell me what to do and I'll try and stick to the instructions and I am famous for not really being able to follow instructions if they're given to me verbally. Um, if you give me visual instructions, like pictures and words, I can follow them really really easily but if verbal instructions I just don't process it very well and it always ends up with me making a mistake. So um, obviously we didn't really know this about myself at this time so she just tells me what to, she just tells me what to do and I do it, set a timer, for the right amount of time, so I thought, and um, she basically ended up with patches of hair that were white, almost. They were so bleached. Um, yeah, roots weren't very good. It was way blonder than she'd hoped for in most cases, and other parts it was just white blonde. And she was, she was, bless her heart, you could tell she was reasonably annoyed and a little bit upset, but she kept her cool because obviously I didn't do it on purpose and then I was her baby sister. So, yeah. What but you told her? What? What you told her? No, well, no, she did know. She was like, let me look in the mirror and was like, oh, oh, uh, that's very blonde. <laughs> yeah, I was really embarrassed because I felt like I ruined her hair, but she, um, she forgave me and actually she ended up quite liking it in the end, so... I think she dyed it again a different colour pretty quickly. She did dye it quite frequently in those days, so still not as bad as when she, the first time she dyed her, tried to dye her hair blonde entirely. She just tried to bleach her whole head, and um, it looked beautiful when she first had it done. Like think Marilyn Monroe kind of thing, absolutely fabulous. But the next day she woke up ginger because she's got natural red in her hair anyway, and apparently that makes, I mean, I've only ever had my hair go blonde by, um, at a salon, but uh, yeah, it went ginger. Like, really, like, the colour of a carrot. And I have nothing against ginger hair. I thought she looked fabulous, and obviously she doesn't have anything against it now, because she dyes her hair to look like Ariel all the time. But at the time, like, she was probably 16, maybe, and uh, she was absolutely devastated. <laughs> It was quite amusing. I think she ended up cutting her hair really short after that to try and get rid of it quicker. Well, hello, hello, Maddie. Is that right? Really? It's our cat we're talking to, by the way. <laughs> Madison. Maddie. Fine. Don't come and say hello to our friends on YouTube. Rude cat. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that these scissors that you are using are supposed to be disposable scissors. When my grandmother was alive, my maternal grandmother was alive, 
she had loads of dressings on her legs because she had ulcers, bless her heart. And um, and the district nurses gave my granddad disposable scissors to use when he was changing the dressings for her. And he didn't use them disposably because he's incredibly a very frugal man and doesn't believe in throwing things away. So he had all of these sealed scissors like this and he just gave them to us when she passed away um, for the kids to use with paper and uh, so now we have loads of these scissors like dotted around and um, yeah my hair's being cut with uh, dressing scissors disposable dressing scissors feels like it I'm not allowed to cut your hair, am I? No. I've used to cut your hair. Oh, shush. Would you like me to tell the story or no. would you like to tell the story? I've had the argument enough times, it doesn't need to be said. <laughs> you only don't like me retelling the story because everyone else in the world agrees with me. Yeah, well, I misspoke when I said it. I'm going to have to tell them the story now because they, they're wondering what we're talking about. So Philip cuts his own hair, he's always cut his own hair. For the not because he doesn't like going to the barbers or anything like that. It's literally because he's like, well, why should I pay money, any kind of money, to have my head shaved shorter when I can just buy some clippers and do it myself in front of a mirror? Or not in front of a mirror, actually. You don't even use a mirror anymore, do you? Yeah. Um, I've got a mirror to use. No. You could go in the bathroom. Anyway, so um there was one occasion when he said oh would you mind helping me cut my hair and i said yeah i'd love to help you cut your hair because when i was a little girl i wanted to be a hairdresser so i was super excited and it all went really really well until it got to the point of doing around his ears now um i was really really nervous about doing his ears because i was like oh my gosh what if i like nip him with a razor and hurt his ear um, which i proved to you doesn't matter because it's almost impossible to cut someone with yeah. this kind of razor. Yeah, so I was like feeling, probably by this point, a bit overconfident, much to Philip's detriment. And he said, and I said, okay, how do you want me to do your ears? And he said, I want you to just cut the hair, like the sideburns, to the, at the, top, to the top of my ear. Now, ladies, gentlemen, and people in between, what would you say is the top of your ear? I see now for me it's up here this is the top of your ear but philip means that philip i meant where the hair was round it he meant the top of your ear like here so like the top of your the top bit of your ear joining your face but he wasn't specific so i cut his sideburns really really short like he was just going into the army and uh, he was mortified. <laughs> mortified? Yeah, you were. He was not. Your face went red and you were trying not to shout at me. <laughs> and then since then, whenever we've like talked about hair cutting, I've asked other people and said, where is the top of your ear? And everyone else agrees with me that it's here, not halfway down. It's all right. And it annoys Phil. Greatly. One, that everyone thinks he's wrong, but also two, because I'm right. <laughs> and, and I did maintain that the first time he cut my hair, and it was really, really short, he did it on purpose. As, as uh, to get back at me for cutting his hair too. I'm sure I did. If I don't pull it, it doesn't cut properly. Because it's bouncy. Bloody annoying. I'm just getting trouble with dressing hair now. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> but I think would also like to just add as disclaimer that these are these little mock threats are just that they are just mock threats this man worships the grand old wolf he would never try and cut my jugular with a pair of scissors i'd have an amazing funeral though because that's what he does for a living it's a bit difficult 
half your hairs on that side. What do you mean half my hairs on that side, Carmen? I mean, <laughs> that's that's the nature that's of hair. Swinging through the it's funny, I feel less frightened with you cutting my hair than I do when I go to a hairdresser. That looks weird. What, but I'm less scared with a professional cutting my hair? No. But I'm more scared of the professional yeah. cutting my hair. It's because I just don't, I don't feel like I've ever had a hairdresser that actually listens to me and does what I want. Except one hairdresser, a local budget salon in our town. I went in and was like, I just had a perm, it hadn't gone right. Um, and then I, it was just, it was just, it was just all a disaster. And I was really upset, I spent the entire like weekend crying about it. And this, this amazing male hairdresser just was like, do, 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 do snipped my hair like took loads of the length off and it like completely bounced up and it looked really really nice and he i literally showed him a picture and said this is what i'm kind of hoping for and he did an absolutely amazing job and just copied it exactly um and he gave me a really nice head massage as well which was very nice but yeah that was a 20 quid haircut it was the cheapest haircut i've ever had and it was apart from phil doing it obviously and uh, it was yeah it was really nice so what I mean about him being a perfectionist. Well, some bits I missed. <laughs> so got... Well, a non-perfectionist would have just left them. <laughs> Ten strands that are all the same oh. as they were. Right. So I tussle are you happy with that? I tussle it a bit. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Except for this strand. Aha! Uh -huh. See? 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 I knew doing that would be helpful. Because I'm worth it. Well. <laughs> Rude. Are you happy with it? I am happy with it. As long as it's even, as long as it's not like one side really as long. As I can see it is being even. Except these bits are hiding underneath. Cheeky underneath it blighters. Oh dear, I moved just as you're about to cut. I don't know. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Good. Your hair, are you happy with it? It is. I thought you said that. I am happy with it. Right. Don't know. Best as I think I'm gonna get. It's awesome. Because now I can just I, now I'm back to the, the back to the length where I don't actually have to brush it. I can just run my fingers through it. And it dries in three seconds. So there we go. That was Phil cutting my hair. Thank you all for subscribing. All 100, and I think it's 102 of you now, maybe even 103. Thank you so much. And I have, I sat down yesterday and did a plan for the rest of the year of videos. I'm only doing one a week. I'm going to aim for one a week anyway, just because I've two a week just obviously didn't happen. And then with all the lockdown and now with a broken arm, it's all going to be slowly. But I'm starting off with some low carb, high protein, high fat baking. Um, I'm going to make some cookies and I'm gonna share that with you while I do it. And I'm gonna do my best to do it like this, completely unedited, so you just see us as people rather than the edited version of us. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed watching me have my hair cut and, <laughs> and I hope you had a few giggles as well. Stay safe, see you later.